So I have a message for you. Let me just edit this. Hold on. I'm sorry. I know this is unprofessional of me, but it's it's a very important message in my opinion, and I want you all to hear it because you all matter. Before I do anything, let me just play a little bit of Fallout Boy to get in the mood for this. Okay, I want you to know something, and it's something that we all need to hear. I am a senior graduating at a... Sorry, at my high school, and, you know, I've been contemplating quite a few things. I've been contemplating my life, the decisions I've made, how I've went about it, and I want to tell you, if you're in college or in a schooling system like high school or anything, don't pull on me. And I know you hear this a lot, and you hear people say... You hear people say... Sorry. That these messages are kind of bullcrap, you know, there's this... But do you think that what you do doesn't matter? And, I mean, in high school, sure, it's tough to fit in. And it's tough to, like, have a anything in high school. Like, it's just tough. I understand. But I am going to graduate soon. And we had our senior skip day today. That's why I'm doing this. And we had a senior video with some seniors on it. And... I mean, I came to this school my sophomore year. I was at my another school my freshman year, but I didn't fit in very much there. And here, you know, people recognize me, but I'm not as important. I mean, I have friends and stuff, and they, they I'm there for them, and they like me, and I have you guys. But I didn't try as much as I wish I would have. And it's, it's one of those things that you don't think about until after the fact. So I want you to hear from me first that perhaps just for me, try a little bit more if you're in school in your schooling systems or doing anything in your life don't have regret it sucks really because i mean i'm gonna be passing with a 3.0 gpa out of 4.0 and that's not bad but i could have been so much more but i never tried and i regret the decision tremendously and there are things in life that i don't agree with for example, my aunt and uncle right now are going through a very difficult time. I don't want to share too much information because I don't think I'm allowed to. But they're being cheated out of something that they should have had a very long time ago. And they couldn't. And the system's being an ass. And basically it's, it's not... One second. I don't know this is. Um, I I need something. Okay, I'm sorry. This is it's hard for me. It's just I get life's hard, and I get that societal norms make things difficult, and I get that being different is not always easy because people judge. But it. It's hard. I can't stress enough how important your aging steps for your life are. Like, I'm still growing up, but and I still have a chance to change, but it's hard, and I understand. It's just you don't realize the things you could have done and should have done until after you do them. When you're a kid, your mind's developing. The things you want to do are changing constantly. The decisions you make are not always the smart ones. And, you know... Really, I, what I'm trying to get at, I'm sorry, <laughs> this is hard for me, um, don't make mistakes, live your life without regret, and I know that's hard to do because some things you want to do, but just don't be stupid about it, if, if you have a dream and it doesn't hurt someone else or yourself, go for it, never, never believe what people say. No matter what those people say, you have a chance at life. You have a chance to matter. 
And I don't want you to be in the same position I am, where the only reason you started tearing up a little bit during your senior video thing is because you were not involved in it. I had friends in there that I knew, that knew me. I, you know, I'm not unsociable, but I'm not really sociable. I'm like, I'm that one guy, you know, the one who's always there to just let you know some things, but I'm really nice, and that, and you have help, I'm there for you. But I'm never really there. Like, you forget me. You know me, but you don't know me. Like, you have that feeling of, like, I think I know that guy. Yeah, that, that's what I've always been. And I've, I've been that outlying person. I'm okay with that. It's just, it's one of those things that's hard when you haven't, you've tried three years, you put three years into school, and thought that you did a lot of things for your school, thought that you did something that mattered, and yet you weren't there. Sure, I'll be able to graduate, but it the three years I put here, I didn't feel rewarded. I mean, obviously I get the education and whatnot, but I didn't feel recognized for what I did. I never filled out any scholarships. I just went with a FAFSA to have that been paid for it. I didn't I, I was in a program that was competitive and I got kicked out slash quit because it was not for me and what I'm saying is it, life's hard we all know this but just stick with it there was recently there was a kid that I that I helped uh, stop for making a decision that he shouldn't have made. And another friend of mine that I knew, somewhat friend, who brought a gun to school, put it in his book bag, to our school, and they found out he had it, and he went down to the office, and he, he put they confiscated the weapon in the, the book bag, but he took off running, and they couldn't find the kid, so I was on the school lockdown for hours, most kids didn't get out of school till really late, and that happened yesterday. And... Realistically, that could have been prevented if society would just stop doing what it does. But here's the truth behind that. It won't ever stop. You can't let what they do and what people do and let the know. I know it's hard. I am in. You can't say peer pressure is difficult. I do not do drugs. I'm not going to say about anything else because I'm not going to lie. And I'm not going to say anything else because I'm not going to incriminate myself on recording but um I don't do drugs for sure I'm not gonna say anything else but I don't do drugs for sure and I don't have intercourse with people I'm not pressured into it I'm still a virgin and I'm okay to admit that because realistically I don't care I know it's hard I know peer pressure is hard but I said to myself I'm me and I'm different why is it that I have to listen to what they have to say no one controls me I was born and raised with a mind and a body that was created just for me by whoever or whomever you believe in or even if you don't believe in anything you were created between your two parents then two people came together and made you or one person and a donor from a facility or you were just adopted and you don't remember who your parents are but you know what even if you're going through hardships even if you don't feel like you belong for some reason somewhere sometime or something happening you were you were made and whether you believe in fate or destiny, you're here. And I'm here to say, I want to give you a place to belong. Summer's coming up soon, and I can start recording a lot more. And really, I need to be reminded. So in a couple days or so, if I don't record a video, bash me. Just keep bashing me in the comments and be like, Leo, what are you doing, man? Come on, come on, come on. And I'll get a notification on my phone constantly, and I'll come home and be like, all right, time to record, because I promised I would do it. Keep me on the bandwagon if you can. I know it's not your guys' job, but I want to help you. I'm tired of the way society treats people, and really, I want to change the world for the better. Because no matter what anyone tells you, you're different. And don't let anyone tell you you're not different. And different isn't bad. Being different is natural. If we were all the same, how boring and monotone would the day be if you were like, Hey, Jeff. Hey, Bob. Hey, Susan. Hi. Five o'clock? Yeah, five o'clock. We're having that meeting. All right, good. You just go to the meeting. All right, so sales are up. Um, you know, stocks pretty good. Uh, any questions? No, because we all think alike. Yeah, it's okay. 
No jokes, no laughter, good. Stern faces, walk away. That'd be boring. It's like a 9 to 5 job that no one wants to do. That's why life would be boring, and that's why we're not that way. Everyone is created differently. I don't care what, your brain is different. Everyone's, you couldn't have the same brain as someone. You can have the same thought process, but they don't have your brain. They don't have the effects that's been on your brain. They don't have the composure that made your brain. They don't have, there are no two people the same when it comes to their brain. I don't care what anyone says. You can have the same ideas. It does not matter. Your brain is your brain. It will always be your brain. So you're your own person. So being different is okay. So remember, don't follow society's norms. Try a little bit harder than you normally would. I know it's difficult. Trust me, I understand. I'm regretting it now. <clears throat> Starting to uh, not cry. Um, just overall, stay awesome. Don't, don't change. Don't be who you aren't. Be you. And I'll like you for being you. I won't judge you. I won't hate you for being you. You're you for a reason, okay? And you always will be. Keep that in mind. You're important for a reason. You were thought up for a reason. Somewhere something said, I want a kid, and boom, you appeared. Doesn't matter if they didn't want it afterwards. Doesn't matter if they didn't think about what would happen. Boom, you appeared. And you're here for a reason. You're going to stay here for a reason. Don't end your life prematurely. Let it end naturally. Because the ultimatum of life is death. Before that ultimatum happens, what happens in between is your choice. Fate or not, your decisions are your own because your mind's your own. Thanks for watching. Stay different.